Here's the story of a lovely lady. Hey, Johnston Dragons. Uh, this is your elementary arts teacher team. My name is Miss Bloomberg, and I teach at Timber Ridge Elementary School. And I'm Mr. Schwanebeck. I teach at Horizon. I'm Mr. Copeland, and I teach both at Horizon and Lawson. I'm Mrs. Hewitt, and I teach at Wallace. I'm Ms. Crable, and I teach at Lawson. I'm Mrs. Fensroy, and I teach at Beaver Creek. I'm Mrs. Schmitz. I teach at Beaver Creek, Timber Ridge, and Wallace. You'll be seeing a lot of us over the next couple of weeks as we teach you lessons from home. <laughs> Look forward to it. Bye. Bye. Hey, kindergartners. Uh, this year, we have done a lot of exploring different materials, and exploring materials and supplies is a big part of being an artist. Um, when you were just starting out as an artist, you were probably doing a lot of scribbling. And we often think of scribbling as a bad thing. And it's not necessarily scribbling. It's not necessarily bad. Uh, today I'm going to show you an activity that you can do at home where we're going to create a collage of a bird in a scribbly nest. So we're going to be scribbling but with control. To create this collage, I've looked around my house and collected some different supplies that I thought would work pretty good. So I found some wrapping paper, uh, you might have an old greeting card or some craft paper like scrapbook uh, scrapbooking paper. You're also going to want something to draw with. It might be crayons or colored pencils or markers. I'm going to use crayons uh, because I know that they'll, um, they'll do a good job of this activity. So I've picked out about four colors. It could be three, it could be five, but you want a, a few different colors. And I like to start with the lightest color first and build up the darker ones. So I'm going to start with this, uh, this dandelion yellow. And if you scribble really fast and fill the page, you can get a neat tangle of that color. Uh, you want to press pretty hard and go really quick. It's going to create a really energetic design some good texture. You can see how the colors are starting to blend a little bit. I'm going to add some blue. As I do this, I kind of watch for areas that maybe don't have so much color. White areas get filled in. Make a nice big tangle. And as I do this, it starts to look a little bit like a tangled up bird nest. Okay, now to create the bird, you're going to need to cut uh, wh whatever material you decided to use. You're going to need two pieces that both look like a letter D. Now that D is about half the size of my hand, but I bet your kindergarten hand is probably about that size. So the, you want a large one the size of your hand and a smaller one that's really close. I've already cut out the pieces that I'm going to use from these two pieces of fabric. Now, playing with your pieces is part of the fun, and it's how artists get creative. They experiment and try different things. So you might have your bird looking up at the sky, or it might be laying down and sleeping. How do you want to do your wing? Will it be up and flapping? Will it be laying down and calm? You get to decide. I'm going to have mine going up. You'll play around with those pieces and decide how you want each of them to look. Remember when we're gluing that you want to always put the glue on the smaller piece first. So the wing is smaller than the body, so I put the glue on the wing. Press and hold. The eye is a smaller piece. And the beak is a smaller piece. I'm not going to put the glue on the back because it's not going to the paper. I'm going to put the glue right here at the edge where it connects to the bird body, like that. Then when I glue down the bird, the bird is smaller than the nest, so the glue goes on the bird. You can use a glue stick like I'm using, or you might have some liquid glue. Either, either will work. 
and stick it on. Kind of like that. I wonder what other designs and details you could think to add. How would you do feet? Would you add a leaf or a branch for the nest to sit on? Maybe an egg or a smaller little bird. Once you're done, upload it to the art folder on your class's seesaw so I can see it. Have a good time and I can't wait to see what you make.